Hi everybody, let's use the new contouring capability in Release 9 to create contours for a really big raster. We're looking at a raster data set of about 300 megabytes and we're going to do a raster to vector conversion that creates vector objects in the form of area contours or line contours for this uh, large uh, data set. You can do all this in Viewer as well, by the way. Contouring just came out today, so make sure to download the cutting edge version of either Viewer or Release 9 if you're going to try this at home uh, in, uh, with data sets like this. Like I said, this data set is about 300 uh, megabytes in size. It is the uh, Aster, so-called, excuse me, it is a so-called GMTED, the Train Elevation Data Set, uh, published by USGS that we downloaded today. And uh, it shows uh, train elevations in Mexico. We'll zoom in here so you can see some of the detail of all this. Uh, at a 0.75 arc second resolution. So that makes it about uh, almost 300 megabytes in size. It's a very big data set. And we're displaying it in a map. Uh, over top of a, a Bing Maps layer. We can see uh, what are the heights in this data set by uh, choosing the, the style. So you can see here that the heights in this data set range from about minus 22 meters to about 5,605 meters. Uh, to, uh, create, uh, to create uh, contours for this uh, particular uh, train elevation data set, we uh, click into the uh, transform panel. And here in the transform panel, we use one of these two uh, new templates, for example, contour areas. Contour areas will create uh, area contours uh, initially uh, with a preview from a minimum height of 0 to a maximum height of 100 with a step of 10. Those just happen to be the default values. Uh, if you don't want to use those, you can use uh, uh, different values as well. And I'm going to turn that off so I can zoom in here to, to a region that I know provides really cool contour, really, look, really cool looking contours. Uh, and uh, here what I'll do is I'll click contour areas again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the step of 500 and I'm going to use a minimum height of 0 and a maximum height of 5600 because we know that the maximum height is 5600 and as you can see Manifold pretty darn near instantly created contours for us for what we're looking at in the preview. This is, these are not the actual area objects what it is doing it is computing previews on the fly of the area objects that it would create if we commanded, com commanded creation of area objects. <clears throat> it's very fast because it's fully parallel. It's actually using uh, all eight cores on this uh, computer uh, in parallel to uh, compute these uh, compute contours. If you're using Viewer, Viewer is CPU parallel as well, so you're going to get the same kind of parallel performance. Uh, it's going to be a little bit slower if I command it to create the uh, actual data, but let's go ahead and do it because it'll create, create that actual data for the whole thing at once. I'm going to click Add Component and that'll take a few seconds. I think it takes about uh, 45 seconds for this data set. Now, I don't know how long it would take uh, whatever GIS you're using today. If you use Manifolds of Release 8, oops, it's done already. Uh, this runs, it tends to run about 15 times to uh, 60 times faster. And as you can see, it's created uh, a new drawing called Contour Areas and uh, Contour, and with a contour table. Inside the contour table, you can see that for all those area objects, it has a minimum and a maximum value uh, for those contour area objects, which we're going to exploit uh, to uh, thematically format the areas. Let's drag and drop those areas into position, and there they are. We can zoom out a bit so we can see more of them, and you can start seeing some of the absolutely incredible detail that this thing has created. Uh, let us uh, thematically format that uh, new drawing that we just created with all those zillions of area with those zillions of uh, detailed uh, lines in it. And to do that, we'll click on Style. I'm going to choose the uh, Fill color for areas here. And we're going to format that using ma uh, Value Max. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to Control to click on this button here to simultaneously uh, format the uh, border areas as well. And we're going to format those using unique values. And we're going to use the uh, Color Brewer Spectral Palette. And I click Update Style. There it is. Uh, that that makes for some pretty pretty impressive uh, drawing. Let's uh, let's let's zoom out and see what we got here. As this thing is displayed over top of uh, a Bing layer, uh, you can see that we've created an area object here, uh, which extends out where all the zero values were in the uh, uh, original uh, data set. We can uh, delete that by control clicking that area object, and then click Edit Delete. So we've just deleted that object, and I'm going to turn off the uh, underlying dem so we can just see the uh, areas and all all the all their glory that we uh, that we created. Uh, if you like, 
uh, we can also create lines. Now, I don't know how long it would take your GIS to do this, but there are some GIS packages out there which would literally take uh, hours to create uh, uh, all these contours, all these contour areas that we've created in a matter of seconds here uh, with uh, Release 9. Uh, in fact, the process is so fast that we can even, uh, let's turn off the areas, let's create, a, let's create contour lines. And um, so I can get a nice fast preview. Let's, let's zoom into this uh, region right there. And once more in the transform panel, we're going to choose uh, contour lines. And we'll use steps of 500. And we'll go to max height of 5600. And as you can see, Manifold is computing, at least in the preview, these lines are pretty darn near real time. I mean, there's plenty of GIS packages out there that would take like uh, almost forever. And, <clears throat> and since I don't want Manifold to create one big uh, box area, I'm going to change this to a minimum height of one so it ignores all the, uh, all the regions outside the actual land base area so it doesn't create uh, contours over water. All right, let's click Add Component again. Let's see how long it takes to create the lines. And uh, uh, it's telling us that it's inserting data. Uh, like I say, if you try this in Release 8, you'll find that it goes about uh, 60 times slower than using, well, it's done again. Didn't have much time to talk about that. Uh, but it takes about, it goes about 60 times slower. Let's take the contour lines, drag them and drop them into the drawing. And you can see here are all our contour lines. And uh, let us format those lines uh, using this style. Pane and we'll... Uh, Actually, we'll use the field called value. It creates a field called value. Once again, we'll choose unique values. Once again, you, let's use the uh, color brewer spectral palette. And they reformatted the lines. If we zoom this out to take a look at all the, the lines that we've created, uh, we can see that once again we've created a, uh, an enormous number of lines. Uh, those look pretty cool when seen against the uh, dark given the color, colors that we've used for the lines. Those, those look pretty cool against the uh, dark uh, dem itself. But if I turn off the dem, they don't look so cool in front of the, uh, the Bing uh, street map uh, layer. So instead, what I have here is a canvas world dark gray base layer, which is my favorite layer when I want a dark background for maps. And uh, that's something you can drag and drop from the uh, ArcGIS REST uh, sample map that's also downloadable from the product downloads page. So what we've done here is we've created a, a contour, contour lines with incredible detail uh, at a 500 uh, uh, meter uh, jumps for a range of from zero from one to 5,600 meters, and we've done that in a matter of seconds. Now, like I said, this goes about 60 times faster than it does in in a single threaded application that's already fast, which is release eight. Uh, the larger the data set, the greater the difference. Uh, in this particular computer, we're running an 8-core uh, AMD FX, so it's a really old CPU. Uh, I want to emphasize we're doing all this with CPU parallelism, parallelism running 8 threads simultaneously. That's why it is running much faster than, say, a single-threaded application like ArcGIS Pro or QGIS could uh, do this sort of contouring. Uh, but try downloading this data from somewhere and uh, see how fast it takes uh, your GIS application to uh, create a uh, contours that are, uh, you know, for uh, a raster data set that's 300 megabytes in size, or say a gigabyte or two gigabytes in size, and uh, then try it in Viewer and see how long that takes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can see how fast all this goes with even really big data sets. Uh, I encourage you to download Viewer. It's free if you don't yet have Release 9. Download the latest cutting-edge build and give it a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and goodbye from Manifold Release 9 land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.